Lord Vader, your car is here. Actually, you might not be menacing enough for this one. Hi, I'm Gary Gastelou, and this is A Car Report. The Ring Brothers have brought a 1987 Buick Grand National to the SEMA show in Las Vegas. That is truly grand. The Wisconsin-based shop swapped its original 245 horsepower turbocharged 3.8 liter V6 for a twin turbocharged 3.8 liter V6 built by Duttweiler Performance that can crank out up to 2,000 horsepower. That's when it's running 50 pounds of boost and is just for use on the track. But turned down to 32 PSI and running on E85, it still makes 1,246 horsepower that you can use on the street. Ring Brothers calls it the Invader, although it spells it I-N-V-A-D-R, and has just slightly modified the exterior of the car with stainless steel bumpers that have aluminum inserts and fenders, rocker panels, and a hood scoop all customized to give it a mild new look. Power gets to the rear wheels through a six-speed Tremec manual transmission and carbon fiber drive shaft, which delivers acceleration that Ring Brothers says is nothing short of violent. Although it didn't release specific figures, it said it's probably the quickest car it's ever built, and it's built a lot of quick cars. The chassis has also been updated with a four-link rear suspension and Penske three-way adjustable shocks. While the brakes feature Brembo six piston calibers and carbon ceramic rotors. There's also a built in air jack system like race cars use that can lift to 15.1 inches off the ground for changing tires. Ring Brothers didn't say how much the vehicle is worth, but it did take 5,000 hours to build. So you can expect the price would be well into the six figures if you called them up asking to buy it. Also brought another car to the show that's visually the opposite of the Invader. It's a pink 1970 Plymouth Cuda that's been equipped with a Mopar supercharged V8 Hellcat Red Eye crate engine rated at 807 horsepower. It features a six-speed manual transaxle and has an entirely new chassis built by the Roadster shop that has coilover shocks and six-piston bear brakes. As with the Grand National, the interior has been updated but maintains its classic style, though it's got modern electronics disguised to look like old school equipment. And as far as the paint is concerned, it's not exactly the same as the old Panther pink that Plymouth used to offer, but is a custom hue Ring Brothers calls Pink Eye to play off the Hellcat Red Eye name. For more on the latest Ring Brothers builds and all the latest from the SEMA show, head over to AmericanCarsAndRacing.com.